Drew was facing the Phillies, the team which drafted him, the team he held out for a year against, the team he chose not to play for, the team which now can't stand him. And guess what? Drew was not in the starting lineup. It's a quad problem, they say. Tony LaRusso watching Ron Gant's first at bat back in St. Louis and not much there. Gant grounds out to short. Gant 0 for 3 and Cards fans made him feel right at home by booing him. Gant watching the other left fielder showing some fine D. Desi Relaford, Ray Langford, nice catch. Cards down 2 nothing. Mark McGuire says not anymore. His first home run at Bush Stadium since April 11th. Only the second homer allowed by Carlton Lower this year with Tata 2 on Big Mac 7th. It was 3-2 cards in the 8th base is full Fernando Tatis. Likes the situation. He'll take that. His one and only hit of the night drove in 2 and it was 5-2 St. Louis. Top of the ninth. Phils down 3. Bases loaded for Rico Bronia. One out. Scott Radinsky induces the game ending 4-6-3 double play as Radinsky comes to the rescue of Ricky Batalico who struggled. Radinsky's third save. Five it's Derek Bell. Derek Bell, a 462 career hitter against Shurik, but he never hit a home run until now. Sixth of the year. Astros take a 1 0 lead. Top of the fourth now. Mike Hampton was cruising. Adrian Brown sit on a potsy. The next batter, Pat Mears, in the role of mouth. Hampton, seven strikeouts, no walks in the game. Bottom four, Shurik against Glenn Barker. A foul ball toward right. Brian Giles. Oh, Brian Giles getting right it done, in reaching in into the stand. That's worth hey, another peek from an angle to see him climb, maybe. That's good enough. Nice play by Giles, to top five. Right. Hampton facing Ed Sprague, didn't always There's get strikeouts. Short, Little sinker got a ground yeah. ball there. Sprague yeah. rescored, 6-4-3. Astros turned three Hampton. double plays. They blanked the Pirates, 6 nothing. Hampton's first complete game and first shutout since he did it to the Mets in April of 98. He even went one for three at the dish to up his average to 286. One nothing, Cubs man on first, Jose Hernandez. Comebacker, Ishmael Valdez, great catch, double play. Take another look. You might have been walking the dog. Valdez. Now, hits it up right to himself. Glove save and a beauty. Great catch. Bottom 6-2 on Dodger for Ul Mondesi, already with a two-run homer, looking for another. Steve Traxel. I'm going to tell you in a couple of minutes why Mondesi loves hitting against Steve Traxel. That's a tease for you, right, Reese? But the teased. Dodgers up four to one. Top of the ninth, four three Dodgers. Tying run at first, Jeff Sherrill. They need him. Striking out Benito Santiago, and the Dodgers hang on by the score of four to three. Now, what about Raul? For Griffey and. Always set for people facing well, Mariner Garcia pitching Garcia as well, giving up more home runs than anybody. Bottom one, Nomar with the bases loaded, and they are unloaded off the youngster Brett Hinchliff. A grand slam with Boston up 4-1. Bottom of the third is now 4-2 Red Sox. Nomar came into the game with just two home runs. I think we see the stroke that brought him 35 a year ago. Takes Hinchliff out again. A two-run shot, his second of the night is 6-2, but he wasn't done. We got a long drive to left field, way back down the line, and it is gone! A grand slam, Nomar Garcia Parra, with a grand slam, his second of the game. He becomes the 11th man in Major League history to hit two grand slams in one game. And as he did it, he beat the Mariners by himself. But the O's won six out of seven. David Justice, meanwhile, it's two nothing Orioles, one on, one out. Justice figures out Guzman. David takes it out and check out the groundskeeper. Oh, that's just the groundskeeper getting it done with the lid. Tied it to worth another peak. Souvenir. Yes, sir. Bottom five, four three Orioles. Ramirez, who's been ripping everything when it's going right, it's going right. A little squibber that scored Richie Sexton, and we are tied at four. Next batter is Will Cordero. Base is still full, and Cordero rips one. BJ Suroff. B.J. Crashing into the wall of Voodoo, making the catch still tied at four. Bottom eight now, it's 5-4. Cordero this time. Make sure nobody will reel it in. His fourth job of the year. Indians go on to win it. Six to four. Robbie Alomar actually drove in the goal. Damon, he's going to take off second. Terry Steinbach, the throw to second. Joe Randa tries to steal home, and Randa beats the throw. Double steal. Nicely done. Two nothing, KC. Did I mention Johnny Damon was the story? Top of the seventh, two out, one on. And Damon with a motion in motion off of Latroy Hawkins, a two-run home run. His fifth of the year for Damon. He had four hits in the game, and this one was easy for Kansas City. Eight to four. Damon. That's true, boy. There's Smoltz. Brett Boone facing Russ Ortiz. 
having a really good season this year is Ortiz, but Boone says, well, that's Keep impressive, right but field. who cares? Number six on the air for Boone. He has a 13-game hitting streak. Bottom one, Ellis Javier Burks against Smoltz. Two on, nobody out. And Burks wondering, where are my dogs at? Number five for Ellis, a three-run home run, putting San Francisco up three to one. To the fifth, Marvin Bernard against Smoltz. The bunt toward third, Eddie Perez. Who is he throwing to? And it goes down the right field. We go to second on that play. Check out the replay. Hits home plate, actually, should be foul. And Bobby Carks has a case, he argues, and he's gone. Andrew Jones. Little bouncer, Charlie Hayes, he's got it. He throws overthrows low. it, so Jones is safe, but watch J.T. Snow tag Jones, and they call him out. Can we see a replay just in case he has stepped out for beverage? This was actually called a turn towards second, and, you know, Bobby Cox is still screaming from off the field. Wasn't he ejected? Giants win 4-1. to one. Smoltz, he allows just two hits after that three. Okay, but it was his first outing against Montreal. Top of the first, Luis Gonzalez. Let's make that hitting streak 23, matching a career best or a couple of men on the little blooper. Keeps it going for Gonzo. Base is now juiced for Steve Finley, still in the first inning. Javier Vasquez has been taken out. It's Grand Slam night. Finley's seventh of his career. The Diamondbacks up on top, 4-0. Top of the eighth now, Expos down 6-4. Man on third for pinch hitter Jose Vidro. He gets a knock to left off the big unit, scoring Orlando Cabrera. Still top of the eight. Expos down one. James Luton. There goes the runner. This ball hits. Smokes one into center field. And that one will go off the wall. Johnson leaves the game after giving up six runs. 13 hits. We're tied at six. Bottom nine. Jay Bell. He is a lumberjack, and he's okay. Bell's 12th homer. That leads the big leads, and it takes Bobby Ayala out and gives the Diamondbacks a win. With that, the Expos have been wiped to full screen. 7-6 the final. 13 hits given up by the unit. A career high. Fabregas gets one up in his eyeballs and smokes it to right center. Ruben Rivera's after it. And he goes crashing into the wall. Kevin Ory, Derek Lee scored double for Fabregas. 2-0 Marlins, but more importantly, Rivera is down out there. He's in a lot of pain, obviously. It would end up bringing out the stretcher for him. Check out this run again. Rivera going hard, really just giving up his body, trying to get the ball and crashing into the wall sort of awkwardly. They did have to remove him on a stretcher. He was taken for x-rays. It revealed no breaks, but Rivera will remain in the hospital overnight to undergo further examination. 5-5 five, five, tie, bottom of the eighth. A man on for Reggie Sanders, and Sanders taking Braden Looper and loops him right out of there. Seventh of the year. is six in his last 13 games. Maybe Sanders finding his stroke. 